Hello traders and welcome back. Today is Wednesday the 9th of August and we are going to do the following. We're going to look back at yesterday's trades, we're going to look at today's potential trades and we're going to look at the important news for today as well. So strap in, let's do this. So let's start with yesterday's trades guys. And the first one was this. We were looking to short the euro against the Swiss franc. Why were we looking to do this? Well, we was in a downtrend. Okay. We come back up to these highs. You know, I didn't like the fact that we were getting higher lows. You need to be aware of this. But these highs never broke. All right. And at these highs, we got a bearish candle. Not super bearish, but bearish enough for me to enter for a few pips, okay? So that was the trade idea, to take it potentially down to this blue line or even potentially back down to these daily lows here, all right? Um, if we look at it now, guys, for me, I don't want to keep trading this because we've had this wick, this wick rejection at the grey zone that we pinpointed, you know, if you are in this trade, take some profit, you know, if you're in profit, because I just don't like this reaction here. It could come down further, but, you know, remember, we are starting to see, you know, higher, higher, uh, higher lows. OK, um, but let's have a look at the trade from yesterday. You know, did we get a setup? You know, arguably, yes, arguably, no. I mean, I didn't trade this pair. So, you know, price did come up into our grey zone many times, all right? And we got a reaction. But look at the candles before it. So bullish candle, bearish candle, and that's not bearish enough, yeah? We think we're going to make it down to this level, and then bullish candle, bearish candle, bearish, bullish. You know, this price action in here, was just not nice. And then we finally get a nice candle that tells us sellers have taken complete control, this one. But, you know, it's already at an area of uh, support for us, you know. And chances are, at this level, we're going to get buyers enter the market. And look, we, we did, yeah. And we still are here as well. So there wasn't much room to play with anyway, and this choppy price action made it more difficult. So, yeah, no trade for Euro Swiss franc. Uh, the next trade from yesterday was this, was Euro Canadian dollar. Um, and again, let's, yeah, well, let's look at this one, guys. So we were looking to buy this pair. Why were we looking to buy it? Well, we was in a downtrend, a bit of choppy price action here, and then bang. As soon as we got this big bullish candle that broke this last high here, you know, we were looking for buys. That was the catalyst. We got a retrace into a grey zone, yeah, and then we were looking to try and, you know, take price higher. Again, guys, if you're in this trade, I would take some profit if you can, because look at this daily candle. This suggests to me that perhaps it wants to retrace down to the moving average 20, or it might even want to retrace down to this level. You know, you know, this is what I'm seeing because of that candle. It could just come flying up. Yeah, that's trading. But because of this candle, guys, I'm reluctant to keep buying this today. Um, if we drop down to the H1, yeah, I mean, tricky. So we got, we got, we got what we were looking for, as in we got this candle that broke out of these highs. Yeah, remember I was saying, guys, we could trade that if that happened. But if we start entering here, realistically, I need to put my stop, you know, maybe below here or even below here, and then my risk to reward and, and the value doesn't make sense to me. OK, but maybe you did enter on this. And if you did, you know, and price comes up to here, you know, take some profit. Yeah, take some profit because look what happens next. It comes tumbling down, but always take some profit. You will never go, uh, you never blow an account or, or, you know, by 
not by taking profit. Sorry. Okay, bear with me. It's early. Um, so yeah, that's so what I said to myself, guys. I said once price retraces to this grey zone, yeah, this last high, then I will consider it. Okay, but price didn't do that. I did consider this candle. Okay, but again, I still wanted it to retrace further. And then eventually we did get that retrace to this gray zone. But then but then I need to see buyers back in the market. And we just don't get any, you know, seller, 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 seller. It's not until here we start seeing buyers again. So, yeah, I didn't get into this pair, guys. And also, if you look at the H4, you know, once it does start retracing back to this level and offering value, look at that candle. Yeah, I don't want to buy a H4 candle like that. Um, what I did trade yesterday was Euro Pound short. So if you're part of the VIP Discord, guys, we had a successful trade on Euro Pound. Um, right, so those were the trades from yesterday. Let's take a look at today's trades now. <music> Guys, if you enjoyed the recap, then come join us. Yeah, subscribe to the channel right now. Smash that notification button so you receive an alert every time we post a vid. And if everyone could please smash the like button as well. Yeah, greatly appreciated. Gracias, merci, danke schön. Um, right, guys, so trades for Wednesday the 9th of August. Before we do, let me just tell you a few things we do. So first of all, guys, We've got the free Discord channel. It's free. Come join it. We've got traders in there sharing knowledge, ideas. We've got psychology. We've got useful links, books. So come check it out, guys. The link is in the video description. Secondly, guys, if you would like to join the VIP Discord, we offer this as well. You do have to pay for this, but you get access to me throughout the trading day, as in you can ask me questions if you're not sure about anything. Um, I, I give you my trade ideas as and when they happen. All right. You also get two other expert traders sharing their ideas. I give you exclusive content every week. And we also give you access to a performance coach as well, should you need it. So if you're interested in the VIP Discord, then the link is in the video description. Next, guys, if you would like to be coached or mentored one-on-one -on -one with myself, sorry, just smashing my mic, then you can join the mentorship program, guys, all right? Um, if you email us, we will send you all the details of the mentorship program. The email is in the video description. And not finally, but next, guys, we also have Simply Forex YouTube membership now. So if you watch the vids every day, the live streams, you enjoy the content, then you can show your support for as little as under $2 a month, guys. Yeah, and But for that, you also get some cool perks as well. Um, and finally, guys, don't forget the live stream today, 8 a.m., New York EST. Get all of your questions ready. Um, we might do the quiz thing again that we did. Right. Trades then for Wednesday, the 9th of August, guys. So uh, what are we looking at? So we're looking at gold. It, to be honest with you guys, it was difficult to find trades. Yeah, we've been having this all week. There's not been loads of things jumping out at me at the screen saying, Tom, trade me, trade me. Yeah, so it's been one of those weeks, although we've managed to pick a couple of profitable trades this week. You know, you only need one setup. Yeah. So gold is is uh, is that trade. We're looking to short gold. So I've started with the weekly chart because I want to show you weekly structure. All right, so the weekly chart is basically is going to be in a bit of a range, okay? So we can see price coming back down to the bottom of this range, and this is what the first blue line is. This is my first target, all right? And if you zoom in, yeah, you can see my target's here. Before we start seeing any of these wicks, yeah, because this is where buyers could be. So my first target is this blue line, which is quite conservative. And then my second target is this lower blue line that gives us a bit more room to move into. Um, if we drop down to the day chart now, 
why am I looking to short this pair? Well, the weekly structure's with us. Um, and also, yeah, we broke this level through here. Okay. You know, at this level, look, we had this big bullish candle. We were thinking, okay, we might come up further before we come down. But the market was like, no, we're going to come down now. And we got this daily candle that not only broke these lows, but it broke out of this gray zone. Okay, so we're just going to get a bit of a retrace, take price, like I said, back down to this blue line, or even back down to these lows here. Yeah. All right, so that's the idea to short gold. If we drop down to the H1 now, what are we looking for? Um, so these are the bigger general gray zones, but these are more, you know, daily gray zones. So let's pinpoint a few um, more exact gray zones. So there is this level here, guys. Yeah, you can see that. All right. So you can see on the H1, I like this level. Price has reacted here, 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 here. So this level through here is a nice gray zone to take shorts from. Okay. Um, can I see anything else here? There is a bit of a level at the top of this gray zone where price has reacted. So potentially it could make its way up to here. Because you can see price has reacted here, 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 here. And that's all I'm looking for, guys, for my support and resistance zones. Historic price action then what I, you know might do i might take a look at the h4 and see if that makes sense on the h4 and i would say yes it does yeah both of those gray zones here and here make sense on the on the h4 you might even get a situation where price reacts at this moving average 20 and we get a reaction okay so these are all the things i'm looking for for my entries guys basically areas where we could see a bearish reaction and we can take price lower that's all i'm looking for um so guys if we go back to the h1 what do i want to see well you should know by now what i want to see um you should all be screaming at the chart yeah i want to see price react at this gray zone now when i say react i want to see a bearish reaction because we're trying to sell this pair all right, and a bearish reaction will either be a very bearish H1 candle or and or a bearish H4 candle. Yeah, sometimes they happen at the same time. So, um, yeah, that's what I want to see. And then we can start selling this pair. And again, if it comes all the way back up to here, again, bearish reaction, and we can start selling this pair. Um, so, yeah, that's gold, guys. That's what we're looking to do. Um, we do have one other trade idea, um, and this is a trade I was I put in my VIP Discord, guys. I've been selling this from yesterday. So, yeah, Euro Pound. I'm I'm not, you know, you're probably thinking, Tom, you're not saying Euro Pound with a lot of confidence. No, because you know we are. Let's look at the weekly chart. Let me explain. So. If we look at the weekly chart, we are, yeah, back at these highs. We've reacted. We are coming back down. We're potentially, you know, we can come back down and we're potentially in a range. All right. That's what I'm seeing. But a downtrend stroke range. So my bias is to short the range. If we now look at the day chart, you know, it is in an uptrend. Okay, we're seeing higher lows, higher highs. You know, we are. But we're also seeing lower highs. Okay, so we've maybe got this kind of, you know, triangle forming. So if I join these, these levels here and these highs here, we're seeing this, guys. Yeah, we're seeing a, a triangle. So if I take all this away, so you can see that clearly. So we can trade within this triangle. So I think potentially we have room, you know, back down to this blue line. If not, it might even come back down to these daily lows here. 
So there is a, a little bit of room for us to play with, but we need a retrace for this to be worthwhile. Okay. So we've got the two targets. We've got this blue line and this blue line. All right. If we drop down to the H1 now, what are we looking for? So, yeah, I'm looking for a retrace back into this gray zone, guys. I was actually taking shorts from here yesterday. Put my stop above here. I've already hit my first target, and I'm leaving 20% to run. But I will also enter this trade again should it give me a setup. And really, guys, I want to see price reacting here. We've got the moving average 20. We've got all this area here where price reacted before so we've got this resistance moving average 20 resistance if we get a bearish reaction in here i will look to take price lower okay um so yeah that's what i'm looking for on euro pound guys it could come back up to here but i doubt it but it could again if we get a bearish reaction we can look to take price lower um, so yeah, Euro pound is, you know, I, I, I say to you, I don't trade conflict. So weekly is in a downtrend, daily is in an uptrend. But that triangle that I showed you shows us that we've got a bit of room to move into. All right, guys. So those are my trade ideas for today. If you've enjoyed my trade ideas, if you could, if you're new to the channel, come and join us. Subscribe to the channel right now. And if I could ask everyone as well to please smash the like button if you enjoyed my analysis and trade ideas. Also, don't forget the VIP Discord. We've got free Discord. We've got mentorship program. And we've got um, Simply Forex YouTube membership. And we've got the live stream later today. Right, let's take a look at the news now. So news for Wednesday, the 9th of August. So overnight, guys, we had CPI coming out of China. So that's big news. And it was all better than expected. So this could have a positive impact on Aussie dollar as, as China and Australia have close trading relations. Um, if we carry on down, guys, you know, a pretty, you know, easy news day, guys, not much news. So the only piece we're interested in is this at 3.30 London GMT coming out of the US. We've got crude oil inventories. This is obviously going to affect the US dollar, the Canadian dollar and uh, oil itself, obviously. So that's it, guys. That's the only piece of news we're interested in. Um, yeah, uh, don't forget to join me for the live stream today, 8 a.m. New York EST. Um, and if you've enjoyed the vid, guys, subscribe, like, share with your trader friends, and I will see you later for the live stream.